Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to update your uprev cable with a reflash license and the arc license if needed. It's the same process. So go ahead and open the ROM editor. You always want to make sure it's up to date. So you could just go to updates and click check for updates. So today is July 5th, 2020. This is the uh, release version 3250. So just go ahead and um, plug in the cable. And for today's tutorial, I actually have a customer cable so I could show you exactly what it looks like because my Pro Tuner cable is a little different. So I don't want to confuse you guys. So once you plug it in, it's going to show you right here if you have an ARC license, which this one happens to have one and if it has a reflash license this cable does not have a reflash license the reflash license is needed to flash the ECU the first time without it you cannot upload any tune files from your tuner so this says the license is used whether it had one or not it will say this this means just it doesn't have one it only has the arc license so what you want to do is go to cable management click that a new window will open which is this one here it shows you your your options your abilities right here again it shows you you have one arc license and it says the license is on the ECU so it means that there is no license on this cable so go ahead and go to license report what this is going to do is it's going to retrieve the data from within the cable and it's going to let uprev know if it currently has the license in there or not the easiest thing to do is just select desktop it's going to save the file to the desktop so it's easier to drag into your email after that you want to click save once you have saved the license report to the desktop it doesn't have to be to the desktop, it's just a lot easier if you do that. So go ahead and go to uprev.com, click on the store section. And in this case, we're just going to assume you just only need the uh, reflash license. So let's just say you bought a cable used and it did not have a license and your car is not tuned. So you're going to need this at minimum in order to upload anybody's tune file. After that, go ahead and just add it to the cart. Your cable can only hold one license at a time. Go ahead and make your purchase. After you successfully purchase the license, it will take you to a new screen. The screen will show you an order number, which should be around over here. Open up your email. You're going to send a file to license at uprev.com and you're going to put the order number right here after that you can just go ahead and minimize everything so it can take you to the desktop you can just drag the license report that you pulled earlier and drag it into the email or you could just click the attach file and locate it which would be on your desktop if that's what you chose as a location after that just go ahead and click send you don't really have to type anything else as long as you have the right email to send it to the order number and you attached the license report then go ahead and hit send uprev does not have a automated system for licensing so somebody has to physically be there to send it to you they're only open monday through friday they are located in texas if you do everything correctly you should receive a new file back from uprev within a few hours if not you should receive it the next day once you get the email back from uprev you're going to download the file so do not try to open it a lot of people try to open it and uh, they'll say that they're getting an error well you're not supposed to open it you just want to actually download it after you have downloaded the updated file that uprev has sent you back you're going to go back to cable management and you're going to click update license you're going to locate the file that you just downloaded that uprev has sent you and you're going to click open 
once you do that a new window will pop up showing that everything went okay and in this case since we purchased a reflash license this will change and it will say that you have one license on the cable the process is the same for the arc license